Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program, targeted individual experience. So one of the things that they will do in in the in the coercive persuasion program, right, and particularly the fact that uh, I'm not a Christian, so that's why they a lot of times target me. They're constantly looking at my unk pendant, and again, I talk about how they always try to bring me back into the fall under the fall of Christianity. Like, no, thank you, don't need that, don't want that. And I figure that's where they. They were looking at my jacket. My jacket is members only, right? And in terms of this is how they try to convert uh, non-believers who don't believe who don't believe in their BS religion. And we have to understand that as those who don't believe in Christianity, because we understand the truth, we know the truth. Okay, and we refuse to follow and live a lie, because that's what most Christians are living. They're living a lie. When you look at their life, their, their whole life is a lie, right? This is why, you know, you, you, you talk about uh, those, the majority of people who uh, are divorced, who get married and get divorced, are Christian men and women. The majority of people who are incarcerated are Christian men and women. The majority of people, right, who engage in uh, negative behavior who engage in a lifestyle that goes against what their belief system or what even their holy scriptures since they claim that it's the true word of God uh, goes against what the word of God says all right so again it tells you that Christianity cannot be true just for the simple fact if you look at the people who call themselves Christians in the type of life that they're living is in contradictory to what they believe. And as I said, the word contradictory, hit the police outside. Uh, yeah, and they have embedded this themselves within positions of authority, you know, to um, engage in this sort of behavior, right? Again, the delusional mindset, when they don't even realize and understand that the evil that they're fighting is within themselves, right? And so, um, what they'll try to do, particularly in my situation, is to uh, try to condition me, right, into a subservient uh, position in terms of with uh, the kid's mother so that she can do whatever she wants. Meanwhile, I'm watching the kids while she go run around doing whatever the hell she wants to do, and I'm supposed to be there yeah, just watching the kids. Like, no, no. They wouldn't even do that, okay? They would not, <laughs> let me tell you, these Christian people, they would not even do that. Right, but because I'm not a Christian, and uh, is the reason why they think that you know they can do this to me, all right? One of the reasons I should say, you know, uh, so don't fall for the hype, right? Because again, once you see through the manipulation, then they try to make this into the game. It's like, well, oh, you, you know, well, you lose because you know you will not, you will not allow us to manipulate you anymore. You will not allow us to condition you into a subservient position you know where you you, you would not uh, allow us to um you know create all kind of negative narrative about you and you're not and, and and you're not being silent right you're you're actually fighting back when like i said when they wouldn't allow themselves to be in that position all right so again you gotta like i said you gotta think don't just believe think right when people want you to be quiet because they're committing crimes against you do you think that they would be quiet if you were committing crimes against them hmm do you think if 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 they were being experimented on would they be silent about it all right and if you could if you yourself which the answer is very easy uh, obvious it would be no then, you know, understand what it is that they're doing and don't fall for their tricks. Don't fall for their manipulation. You know, they can keep telling you that you lose or you choke or whatever the hell they want to do. Or whatever. That's fine. Because if they were being hit with these weapons, if their minds were being manipulated, if they were being drugged to you to soften up their mind or to whatever else they try to, you know, I guess you're addicted to drugs and shit like that. All right? How would you think they would act? Hmm? How would you think their mindset would become? Hmm? Like I said, don't just believe. 
think. Okay, when you have information, you have you have knowledge, you have the facts, you have the truth. You begin to make better decisions, not just in the things that affect you, but the people around you, people that you care about, people that you love, even the even the the broader human family. All right, it's when we operate out of ignorance and arrogance, because ignorance breeds arrogance. Right, is 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 what we uh, is when others can come in and manipulate us. Right to do whatever they want us to do. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video.